for sure. And how dialed has Victor been on this raise? Has he yeah. still been practicing yep. it? Because we know the potential that he has on this roll. And already a fast A default here. All five members. Dude, the omen flash, the sky flash, and the kill for tens. Ah, he just gets spammed. He just gets a spam kill through the smoke with a classic. That's so dangerous to do. And there's a gap in the A main wall. Victor's already gotten back sight. Saucy was surrounded and disposed of as Demon oh, no. One continues his fragging ways. Yeah. And dug that gap in the A main wall. Ended up being the demise, but Zekka gets the spam kill on Ethan. Fix pushing heaven. Fix pushing heaven. Tags John. Applies pressure. Now they have to respond and they have to deal with him. Mark utility out with a classic in his face. Oh. Tries to tuck tail and get away. Somehow survives. <laughs> How much more time can he buy? What is this fight? Yeah. He falls. It's all onto Demon One. With He's a got classic. a classic, but they're weak. <laughs> 21 HP. Too many targets to deal with. Sentinels get the pistol. <laughs> and even for Demon One, it's too much of an ask. Yeah. With just a classic. But honestly, all off the second getting that kill on the bomb, on the bomb planner, I think it was on Ethan, just spamming him, knowing exactly where to pre-aim. That actually opened up the entire retake and gave them a chance back into the round. Oh my gosh. But look at the smoke, like I was talking about, actually ended up getting Demon 1 two kills, one on heaven, one on elbow. So almost disastrous. And I think right now, Sen is definitely telling Zelsus to fix that wall, because that was, that almost was huge for NRG. Those little things can be the difference maker, not just in rounds, but ultimately in series. Yeah. And to set the stage for those of you who may just now be joining us, Madrid is up for grabs. There's only one spot left for Americas at Masters Madrid, and it comes down to this map to decide who gets to go, who's packing bags, and who's sitting on the sideline for another month. Here. Such high hopes for both squads leading into the season. Sentinels finally figuring out their roles, finally having an IGL that they're much more comfortable with, and then energy on the other side. Obviously, you have this blockbuster edition of Ethan and Demon One <laughs> putting America's on notice. Couldn't have said it better, Doug. Two Titan just fighting at, e fighting at each other. So crazy. Legends are made on stages like these. It just comes down to who answers the call. It's just so slow. It's just so respectful. Trying to get a feel for the defense setup is NRG. Here. Trying to see where the Cypher setup is. Trying to see where all utility is. Trying to see where the gaps are. I mean, they have three members of the defense almost playing in spawn. Toxin's yeah. going up. Gun here. Saucy now rotating back site. Toxin screen down. <laughs> 10 seconds left in this round on the head. Should be impossible. Yeah, Saucy should be able to hit a good flash, but they're planning safe on the other side of the pillar. He's the last one alive. Sentinels get the second, and they do so in flawless fashion. Uh, and they do get bombed down, which is... A little money. Very, very good, yeah. yeah. No guns out, though, so not the most successful eco round from NRG. And we have not seen NRG play split yet with this new roster, so we don't know what they're cooking up. And we've seen tons of footage on Sen. But even so, Sentinels have been so good on this map. The only loss they had, they already bounced back. Like the day after they lost this map, and already had made so many changes to what got punished. What's up? I feel like Sentinels is one of the best split teams I've seen in the game at this moment of time. So yeah, NRG. Yeah, they have the Blackbuster team. Yeah, they have all these star players, champions. But this is a tough ask. Good flash. Victor dead. They've done such a good job of playing around these Viper walls. I know it's early, but you're already seeing the game plan. They're just not really willing to give up any space on A. Yeah, and you see the change of pace. They were in spawn previously. The last two rounds they were in spawn. No contact anywhere, and now they're going aggressive. Tens with a deep TP there into the corner, catching Victor off guard. That was all set up from a flash from Saucy. Now what do you do as NRG? We know they're so good at mid-rounding. 
they're great in these man down disadvantage, uh, disadvantages. Fault line setup. It's no value though. Flash around the corner. There's just so many things that they can use to get out onto the site to take aggressive space. But this smoke, they're just playing on the other side of it. That ball Heroin ball. is so good. Another gorgeous use of utility by tens. Spike it down. all falls down onto crashies. Sitting on the other side of a trip, spike out of hand. A bonus for Sentinels. Sentinel played that 5v3 advantage perfectly, not giving any first bloods, not giving any picks to Energy's contact plays, understanding that they're gonna util dump, waiting for their moment. Off the tap, the omen flash. Very, very clean play right now from Sen. Chaining utility together. Let's go. Peeking off of it, having crossfires on top of all that. They're a hive mind right now. <laughs> Some love for the young gun. Aggression again from Vic. Very similar, very reminiscent to what we just saw them attempt on A. Yeah, and this mid aggro opened up the lurk for Marv on this A ramp. Let's see what he can do with it. There is a cam there though. Sen opting to play a full retake setup on A. Oh, this dog is huge. Crash just can't oh. find anything. He got stuck in between trying to figure out who he wanted to fight there. Yeah. Such a difficult situation. Maybe Marv with. Oh! Him. I thought that was a collat. I thought so too. Yeah. And he gets re swung. I mean, Zach can feel it. And he knows they have a gun advantage. So why not push the pace? Yeah. A deep smoke. John with much <laughs> to do. Down. Spotted. Caught him 4K. <laughs> Taking back out onto the site, though. Vic gets the spike down. Ooh, this is aggressive from Demon 1. TP's up into heaven. Vic tucking. Oh, that's so good. He actually is setting up Victor so perfectly here. He's ahead of that smoke. The problem oh. is, right now, if they strike in this time window, he's by himself. Oh, spamming onto the second, almost hitting it. Oh! They were divided. And I know Tenz is known for his flicks with his aim, you know, like shooting people's heads, but not with the Omen Flash. <laughs> he was looking elbow with that, and then he flicked them right off a of contact. Didn't oh, know he had God. capabilities like that, Doug. <laughs> Take a look at it again. Oh. The buy wasn't great. It was so close. Okay, you see the paranoia and Tenz on the swing. That 1v1 is so no important. Is yeah. And Demon1, who I truly believe is one of the best players that I've seen take 1v1s in general. Yeah, for sure. I feel like in this series, he's been kind of lacking in that in that aspect. Flash is traded. Spike sitting back in spawn. It's very slow play here. I'm an RG, trying to field out. What's happening? I think they're a little cautious now because Sky has been shown at B. I mean, the smoke is the only thing keeping him apart right now. You've got the Roomba and you have the dog clearing up, taking space. Do they fill in what was previously vacated? Does Ropes. energy have a read into this? They've taken some space and it seems like Sentinels are comfortable to give it up. They can take a step back to the second layer. That's exactly where Tenz is. Has a paranoia in hand too. There's no combo though. There's no one that really to swing off of this with him because of the rest of the defenses have already pushed into garage. Zelsus taking the best of Demon 1. And he's got a tuck tail. He's got to get away. Keep a close eye on Zelsus so he continues to push the pace into main, into garage. What an awkward situation. <laughs> Shot has to be clean. Flash in his face. Tries to turn it and stay alive. Zek can now satchel forward with bolts oh. in hand, landing it onto Vic. The spam is just too much, though. He's stuck. Careful here. You have to deal with him. You can't afford to just leave him there. Oh. Finally swinging out, getting to safety. Spike not committed. Spike not planted. Finally, an attempt will be successful. Spike planted. Two v two. Tens gets another. Crash. He's left alone. Can he pull it off? No. <laughs> Tens with three on the round as the crowd erupts. I thought energy almost played that near perfect. 
Yeah, they knew Zelsus was stuck there, but they had somebody holding him the entire time. And that opened up the picks onto other players trying to rotate in for NRG, but Tens, I heard somebody in the crowd say, Tens is not overrated. He's not. <laughs> Look at this. The guys had an outrageous series. Seven and two. Full steam ahead is Sen. And it looks like NRG will be taking a timeout. As they should, things are slipping away. I'm just glad my dude didn't get hit in the crowd again. <laughs> He's gonna walk away with bruises by the time this is done. I mean, what a start for Sentinels, 5-0. Yeah, they've showed so many different looks. They've showed passive holds, they've showed aggression, they've showed a mid hold, and then the next round they're giving mid. There's so many things they're doing right now that is making it hard for energy to get a read on, on positioning and, and how they're set up and where the different players are. Even just having that sky showing presence in B main, and then all of a sudden you see Zelsus is in there maintaining all that space. A lot of layers to this map. I mean, Sentinels has so many reps on this map. A five round lead, full momentum, tens with the op. Meanwhile, for energy, nothing but a myriad of questions. It looks like they are leaning towards this B side of the map, trying to maybe get this raise rocket in this area because of all the corners and cover that he can have. And here's that sky again in B main, but this time it's all faint. The setup is retake on B now. But energy checked it. They have all the info. Going out. This should be a good read from NRG. They're not gonna clear him. The dog missed. They're not gonna clear Zelsis. Oh, this is the wrong. He hears him, he sees him. Again, disaster. And they've gotten out onto the side. Can they convert? John trying to hold them back. This 1v1 is everything. Two bullets left. <laughs> John QT decides to step away. Reposition. Crashes as old. Shadows traveling. Demon 1 can reposition. If they commit, the paranoia is there. No follow up yet as they're traded. And now the rolling thunder comes through. Waves crashing into the opposition. A little bit of buying of time as John QT plays his cards as perfectly as he can. The cam is still up. He's oh gonna find the timing! God. He gets them both! Three on the round for the leader! Ethan left alone. Can he pull off this 1v2? Attention divided, nine bullets left, 32 oh. HP, and he cannot pull it off! IGL versus IGL. And he has time! One second left! Oh my gosh, all off of this kill. Great awareness from Zelsis. And John, he's so smart to wait out that smoke and not jump the gun too early. That's what sets up the entire round. And honestly, to go to step back, remember, he was wise enough to take a step back from the fight with Demon 1. Just he understood, presence. yeah, he understood, forget it. I don't need to win this fight. I'm gonna provide more value later on. That's a leader's play. And you saw it the entire time. Ethan was worried. He was watching B main. Yeah. But John played that to a T. The timing was perfect. A desperate need for any sort of momentum, any sort of success for NRG. That's and brutal. It might not come this round. But look at Marv. He understands that Alpers like to reposition. Alpers like tens like to reposition fast. And that gets him this timing and event. He's so far up, but you see the respect that's being shown. Zekin's playing back in spawn. He knows that heaven may be a weak spot, a vulnerable area. Did that see him? I didn't. I can't believe that. Sassy pushing forward. Two members there, none found. Oh, this is this is gonna be so hard for Sentinels. Tends to us up, knife out, utility out. Oh my gosh. And finally, NRG seem to find some success. They seem to find some space. Tens is still alive here. And he still wants oh, to no. the up. Trying to land the shots. Oh, no. Missing everything, going he's, wide. He's out. And now John QT shows up and, and he creeps back in. Spike planted. Tens <laughs> persistent in his approach. Relentless and reckless abandon as he re-aggresses and repeats. Oh my gosh. Now with the shorty one still. Oh my gosh, it's not planning for him. It's gonna be a 2v5. Can Demon 1 pull this off? Oh! Can he pull it off? An angel of deliverance is instantly 
Oh, he clipped from his wings. Tens is on another level right now. He's quick scoping people like it's Call of Duty, Doug. That's not the same game. This guy's playing a different game. And Demon One is supposed to be that guy who, who secures the round with the late lurk. Mark set energy up perfectly for this moment. How does he live? Gets away, man. And then he goes through again. I mean, you can't teach that. Even the pre-fire on the Ethan from John. This is all intuition plays and you can see on Chet's face. Back into the action we go, Mark already tagged. Oh. I mean, oh. okay. Turns out Demon 1 is still good. <laughs> I mean, Dre, this has got to feel like quicksand, no? Yeah. I mean, nothing is working. Everything falling apart. You're slowly being suffocated out of the map. I mean, they, they, no doubt in my mind, to anybody's mind, we thought that energy was winning that round. Oh, he played anti. Oh my gosh, okay, he was spotted. <laughs> oh, he. Again, a little bit of room he found. Got him, he got him. He got him good there. Now, it was a 2v5 last time. I know oh, the, no. the chances are ridiculous. Last player standing. <laughs> but finally, it seems like energy are gonna get on the board. And wow. Energy needed this round. They needed it, especially <laughs> yeah. <laughs> with the circumstances of the last round. I mean, yeah. I just got to break it down even more. They even had multiple layers. Marv knew to take the timing right away from the previous round because the gap was there. That's the plays that he's known for making. That, that's what right made there. him a champion in the first place. And he even got two on that lurk. And then you have Demon 1 set up to, to secure the round if everything goes south, but he couldn't close it out. They had the strat. They, they played it to a T, but the individual prowess of Sentinels just, they want to close this map out. They want to go to Madrid. Thrifty. They can feel right it there. And now NRG needs to string some rounds together off of that Thrifty. There is an op online for them. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. Looked like he wasn't even aiming at him. Just understands where the bullets are going to go. Big entry from Vic there with the rocket as well. A thrifty round heroics proved to be the difference maker. Cool. NRG still down six and op in the hands of Demon 1. And you imagine that means we're in for a slower round. Yeah. And look at the look at the buy from Sen. A lot of light armor. Mm. It's like they were up 7-0, but every round has been so costly that just that one round win from NRG put them back. They had to go for light armor buys. It seems like they also really want to continue to lean into the op, the defensive op. So maybe. Yeah, and, and I liked what they did last round, putting it in the hands of Zekin. Like, mm -hmm. honestly, Demon One was not ready for an op being posted up there. But Zekin just whiffed. Could have changed the entire game. Dog, Roomba, everything, but mail not cleared. And Marv's job here is just listen to the rotates, try to catch this Viper off guard. He's really far up. Yeah. Still has a trip that's keeping him at bay for now. He just breaks it now, and now they're wrapping vents. Oh, that's bad. That's oh, trouble. Oh, what? And he's out. Like a thief in the night. Screen down. I have to see that from his POV. Seeker's <laughs> invested. That's going to give away a lot. John playing from safety. Seconds left. Now that's pushing softy. forward. Yeah, this is so. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Well, normally, for, for regular humans, that's a difficult angle to deal with. <laughs> but they just continue to push forward and smite demand the best out of each other. I have the smite. Ten seconds like iron left. sharpening iron. Oh! Both pushing each other to their very limits. They've got to get the spike down. There's no flood. They're so weak. No armor. Planted. Less than 50 HP on both. Celsus is dropping down. John, close by. Spike oh, ticking away. No way. Crash, he's falls. Demon one with the op. Two shots to hit. First one oh! does it. And Sentinels get another. That looked like he was right on. He missed by what, like a, like a centimeter? Maybe less than a centimeter. That looked danger close. 
but so smart from Sen to double swing there. And honestly, just finding all these crazy kills, the awareness to spam the smoke, just everything going Sentinel's way. It just seems like they can do no wrong. Oh, man. No way! Dude, what? how? All he sees is the gun barrel and he gets a headshot. <laughs> Look at this! But oh. like went under his arm. He just flicked to the right. He thought John was gonna keep moving. Yeah. I mean that's so micro. I'm so sad. And I, honestly, I think as, as I think over that replay that we just saw, it's really kind of indicative of how things have gone, haven't it? You see Crash, he's trying to like 1v4 his way out onto the side, yeah. getting his kills clean, and then you got Zelsa spamming smokes on the other side and getting kills. It just, it really just seems like for Sentinels, everything is falling their way. I don't even think NRG is playing a bad map right now. No, I, I agree with they've you. They've had great rounds, they've set themselves up great, but just like these weird wacky kills that Sentinels have and that's what makes this team so dangerous doug is that they have the option to to do crazy things like tens staying in a site for like 10 light years tp'ing out running through the smoke again with only one up bullet quick scoping somebody it's like these are the ways that they can win on top of the fundamentals that kaplan has introduced into this team and the rest of the coaching staff john he was quiet last map this is just a playground for him cover going out so many different setups. Now he's backside at B. How do you read into this? Double trips for him. Sun. I mean, NRG already moving away from the Cypher site. Not trying to walk their way into John's crosshairs, who's been having a heater of a game. Patience. Heavy, heavy mid here, hold here from Sun. Which makes sense too, given how much energy have tried exploiting that map uh, or that area of the map. Now they give it up. Perfect timing for energy right now. Do they capitalize? And I like this. 50 second mark is hit. All right, let's back up. Let's not give him any kills. We know a site hit's gonna come soon. And that's why you see a site set up here. Zelsus getting into site today. There are three here. Another cam already up for John, so he has the aim. He has the B main line. 30 seconds. Fall left. line set up to help take ramps. Oh, this is perfect for Tyson. Is this another classic tens moment? The one two, falls. One. No. The second will not join him. Sassy from backside oh. though gets all three. Spike down A. And again, another explosive moment. Left. He had no idea that Zelsus was there the whole time. 9-1 in favor of Sentinels. And that should just not be able to be done. A 3K spray down. He's one of the players that controls his spray so well. Usually that gets traded in a heartbeat, but every bullet would hit its mark. That was insane. I mean. Such a tight angle. I mean, too. what? Just no chance for a trade. Every shot was on the mark. And then even this. Yeah, you're right. Jordan didn't even have to move a, move an inch. No, he was concealed the whole time. It was all a bait. Back into action we go. Oh, As no. the round has already started. Frustration out of NRG. Team flashing now. The rollouts aren't even there. It's all falling apart, Doug. Plenty of cause for concern. Oh, John. He's so slippery. And honestly, I think... And in moments like this, we find out what this roster is made of. The roster who has plenty of experience and was only joined by more experience. Now left head scratching and looking for answers. And normally, Dre, we would look towards Demon 1 to be the one, to be the spark, to be the catalyst, right? To get things going again. Yeah. But the truth is, aside from a couple of small moments Candle this series, heat. That he hasn't been that guy. Yeah, it's. You know what the crazy thing is? He, he's still been playing great. Just not to the standard that everyone holds him to. Yeah. That he holds himself to, even. <laughs> like, second just stays. The disrespect is here. 
a complete dismantling from top to bottom. Sentinels have had their way with NRG this half. It's just hitting every shot, one every timing, remaining. every spam. Oh, it's even one! Right. There's a chip here! Left. Hang on. We missed the clip. There's only five seconds. This yeah. is just too I'm, much to ask for. Yeah, I mean, he's not winning the round. Tough. 10 1. I mean, when you give a team like Last Sentinels the confidence the to, to make these crazy plays, it could get out of hand very fast, like we're watching right now. Full confidence in this team. Zek and Stang going for the one. Jordan on the rope. The perfect timing on the peak up, too. <laughs> Knowing the tents had a paranoia coming. You're standing. So insane. Nice shots from Demon One, but that's just too little, a little too, late. too late. Yeah. Oh, wow. That was Look crazy. That. <laughs> 10 to 1 is brutal. Shadows. They have four alts on the attack side. The desperate need for, for anything. Just gone through this barren wasteland of an attack side on split. It's just so hard. I feel like Sen have just been, specifically John has just been in the flow state of calling, changing up the setups and everything's been working. And it's not even just calling this and game. Look, Sachi on the on B side of the map, he flashed deep B main. Now he can take the line. Tens is holding mid and Everyone's they have three members A. Oh, Second is ult. Oh. Does he hold? Oh my gosh, he doesn't tag anything. But he still has so much Yuto, he can dump down Victor, playing in hell. Trying to find some space, trying to find some value. Duel is done, he continues to push forward, trampling towards elbow. Oh, John has spammed two people through this screen smoke. And the one onto Victor, potentially the most valuable, potentially the most impactful. Another spam! Demon one left alone. The potential last round of the half. And the potential of an 11 to one. Lead. 30 seconds left. Oh, he made a stop. He's been heard. Oh. He's been spotted. He's been found. 11 to 1 for Sentinels. Switching sides. What a performance. I mean, John spammed two people right here. Oh, it's one of us off the trip. But the other one was the rocket cube. Yeah. I mean, you can't make this up. And I, I had questions of how NRG would play on these raised maps because I feel like it's been a while since we've seen Victor play. But it, it looks weak. We'll see what the desk thinks about that very question. Take it away, GB. An absolute trouncing from Sentinels as they have a dominant lead going into the half. And the stakes, again, could not be higher here. For NRG in, to find themselves in this position, Ender, it's actually quite fascinating because, well, if they uh, end up missing Madrid, I, we have no EG representation at Madrid. Those, they were the champs. With EG losing earlier and only Ethan and Demon One still standing. Yeah. Those two players that are not black and white on your screen right like now. Back to the future. Man. No, but those two players <laughs> broke away from EG yeah, along with true. so many on that team in order to do better on their own, right? To join right. NRG. NRG was a team built to dominate, not here on the world stage. Like they, their expectations are sky high. And the fact that we're already here and it looks like it may just be over yeah we're yeah. only a month in but it, it, that is dire for energy's hopes it's an oof it absolutely is and they're up against the sentinels that no one really had the expectation yeah. of greatness from them this is the organization the last time they went to a global event was more than 900 days ago that was also the last time they were in a regional final this roster for the last two years has had teams has had players that you expect greatness from them we haven't seen that yet but now they're just two rounds away from their first international event their first regional title or yeah. their first chance at a regional final in almost three years if they could win here they would make history for themselves and for this organization tens won the very first masters and if he wins here again he'll have a chance to repeat it in madrid yeah we'll see if this is going to be the possibility the reality for Sentinels, but NRG have a tall mountain to climb in order to come back into this one, and Sentinels are right there. Let's go ahead and send it back over to Doug and Baby Bay. 11 to one. Madrid on the line. 
We, I mean, go back not that long ago. Just go back to last year. Sentinels was a shell of what they are now. And now look at them. Picking up John QT in the offseason, winning every single offseason tournament that they participated in. Questions abounded last year. They struggled with having a leader. They struggled with having a caller. There were role issues, a plenty. And the chemistry between Kaplan and John, it just looks so good, along with everybody else on the roster. Yeah! Oh. And they were so ready for that. They, they four-man swung him. And honestly, to go back to a little bit more recent, remember the beginning of this year, this wasn't the roster that they had. It was Pancato who was in the works. Yeah. For them to traverse all of that and now find themselves here. And Jordan, he, he earned his spot. He had to earn it. He had to step up to the plate and be that guy. And when he had his opportunities, he delivered. And that's exactly what Sentinels are doing now. <sighs> Flirting with changing the landscape of North American Valorant. I mean, this is gonna mean so much to them if they win this pistol. You know they're gonna be. 30 seconds left. Popping off on all cylinders. But Marv has something to say about that. What? Oh my gosh. Does he go for more? Ah, He's taking a breath here. The amount of drop jaws that I just saw in the crowd is ridiculous. I think everybody felt like it was going to be in Sentinel's hands, but Marv has something other to say about it. Four headshots. He's done it on his own. Oh, he was ready to kick the head off his teammate. Can he finish it? Oh! He's oh, given his second. opportunities. One shot? Oh, he's gonna rob him of it. Wait. We're just playing a mini game right now. Oh, oh, he the ace and he does! The eye by power ace for Marv. And honestly, as fun as that was, good night, they're still down so big. <laughs> we'll take a look at it again. Oh my gosh! Yeah, I've jokingly always said that the Ion Sheriff was like automatic headshots, but <laughs> I mean, that looked like truth there. Make sure you follow I Buy Power on socials where they're giving away a free PC every time there's an ace. And whichever one of you wins it, thank Mark. <laughs> Keeping oh, his team in the game. <laughs> I guess, yeah. Single-handedly. Yeah. Oh, speak of the devil. He's just gonna put the game on his back <laughs> and that's what you need you need that pop-off moment dude but it's it's still so I mean it's late give him a phantom now this would be just something this would require some crazy antics for Sen to bring this back they, they have, have a phantom to do it I mean they have numbers on B the defense is split there's the Phantom. Down There's the spike. It's not even a bad idea to save this if you're John. Seriously. Here. Yeah, sure. I mean, you do have a lot of room to play with. Yeah, yeah. Go for it, but. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Shameless. And uh, that's your plug to buy the team capsules. <laughs> Still having fun with it, even though they're seconds left. two v four. One enemy remaining. Gun here. Let's <laughs> Demon one gets his two. NRG gets a three. I gotta say, I just feel like this entire series, what I've seen Demon mine. one, I've only seen him with an op and a Our guardian. Guardian. Yeah. <laughs> like he loves that gun, man. You get a couple of good feel good eco frags from Barb as well. Yeah. Going back to the pistol left. and now this. One enemy remaining. Gun here. Sometimes your teammate getting an ace can be that spark. Dude, they need more than a spark. That brings it together. Freaking, <laughs> you need a whole freaking fire. Yeah. It's just such a large deficit. They're staring at. But they persist or at least attempt to try to defy the odds. And those are some massive odds they're up against. They have guns though, Ethan with the stinger. 
crashies as well. Just noise being cut across the board from Sentinels. I wonder here too, how this moment, how this position impacts Sentinels and their play style. You know, we talk, so, you know, sometimes about, are you playing not to lose or are you playing to win? Yeah. And you wonder here if Sentinels peel back a little bit, let off the gas a little. I like what they're doing here. I like how they took A control early. They cut noise. They contact back up mid. They're showing stuff towards B to try to bait a rotation out from NRG. And that kill should definitely bait it. Look left. at the players on A. Instantly rotating. Oh, Marv knows to stay. They got a paranoia. They ran into this. I don't think it hit Crash. He's, he's got a fault line, jumps across. He's got a flash to work with too. Oh. The satchel out onto the side. <laughs> nice shot slam though. 13 seconds left. The spike's still not planted. Marv's still not cleared. He's going to challenge the orb. He's going to challenge the smoke. But John Spam covers him. Get down, Mr. President. How much more can they find though? Crash, he's left alone. Can he pull this off? He's gotten the first, and that's it. Riot Games Arena, bear witness. The air of Sentinels very well may be upon us. One round away. One round. Oh my gosh. He held Mouse one down. He had no doubt in his mind. They knew that was the only way that they could potentially lose the round. Is if Mark creeps up into that smoke and kills the bomb planner. For as much as we talked about Demon 1 and Zelsis and, and Zekin and Tens, it's, it's John who has shined on this map. Screen down. And he had such a rough last map on that ascent. I mean, this guy has everything. He frags, he IGLs, he bounces back. I think the most important thing though is he has the trust of his team to do something Sentinels haven't been able to do for a long, long time, for years. There. We talked about the dry spell they've been through. The addition of John QT to this roster has been everything. The nade is good. Now potentially putting oh, the finishing oh. touches on this series. It's a one for one. Marv has a shorty from that distance, will not connect. Crash, he's dumping you till Vic so far away and they freeze, they hold, they reset. They can taste it. I mean, the bags are half packed at this point. 30 seconds left. Oh, they're so patient. And look, that causes energy to worry about a lurk. Yeah, but this long? This now, nade. committing the nade there. He's just some coming to his death, coming to terms with the fact that he's done. A 3v2 number still in favor of Sentinels. And now quiet across the map as the spike ticks away. Ethan with a flash in hand, having to make a play. What? The flash not connecting as the wall goes up. Crash, he's got one. Ten's trying to keep him back. Saucy joining with him. Oh, looping around, having to reload. Where's the cover? There it is. Crash, he's Saucy, a 1v1. Oh, he's so confident. Four bullets left, switches weapons. Time is of the essence. And that's all it'll be. It's been years since fans have had a reason to celebrate. But tonight, Sen City burns red. Welcome to Madrid! What a moment! For Sentinels! What a moment for the league! Oh. Sentinels look so good! Bouncing back off of that last map!